Hey kids and fourth graders, it is officially the end of week one of the remote learning experience. Now I know that social distancing has proven itself to be quite a difficult effort on all of our parts, but it is important during times like these, the need to self-quarantine in order to reduce the risk of spreading the virus. Today we're going to talk about a simulation of how to flatten the curve according to the Washington Post. The Washington Post provided different case scenarios between a small and large population to demonstrate how the contact of COVID-19 can exponentially spread when not regulated. The simulations are also contrasted when a population is placed into a practice of social distancing and how the contact of COVID-19 can exponentially decrease. In the first simulation, when the small population of five is placed into contact with COVID-19, the virus quickly spread onto others. In comparison to the first simulation, the second simulation of 200 people shows the contact of COVID-19 spread vastly throughout the population and took time before the number of recovered people could grow more than the infected. And although the simulitis is not the actual COVID-19, the simulations provided by the Washington Post showcase the examples of real-life events as to how quickly the virus spreads throughout different human networks, including countries, workplaces, towns, communities, and families. In contrast, the Washington Post presents a simulation with the practice of social distancing and how it affects the spread of COVID-19. The simulation demonstrates the number of infected people decreasing, while the number of recovered people increases. Under the practice of social distancing, the people who are less mobile and less interactive leads to the reduction of the virus being spread. You could do our home while quarantine to stay in shape. At first, you're gonna need a mat. I don't have a mat, so I'm just putting a shirt on. Then you're gonna do a couple push-ups, as many as you can, for three sets. Do three sets, a minute each set. Couple, three sets of lunges, 20, 20 each side. Exercises you can do at home, stay in shape and keep your body moving. Okay, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, five more minutes. Uh, uh, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up, I'm up. Oh jeez, I'm so sorry class, I, I was in a bit of a hurry as you can see. Sorry, I don't look proper. Oh, it's okay, Mr. Johnson. You look stupid anyways. Excuse me? Jonathan, what did you just I'm say? Sorry, did I stutter? I said you look stupid. No, no, no. I think I've heard enough, Jonathan. You know what? That's a detention for you. This is online school, genius. How are you going to give me detention? I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. Just let me find the detention button somewhere here. Uh... Uh... You know what? Just go to your room. Uh, I'm already in my room. I knew you were in your room. Let me talk to your parents. Hmm? Let's have a meeting right here, right now. They're not home right now. What do you mean they're not home right now? Everyone is home right now. Oh, hey, Mrs. Teacher, can I go to the bathroom? Yes, of course you can go to the bathroom. Oh, come on. Do you have an ID? Why would I need my ID in my house? No ID, no bathroom. Bro, you didn't even spell bathroom right. You put an F instead of a T and H. Rules are rules. Nah, bro, nah, this can't be okay. What the heck? Dear Mr. Pinto, am I allowed to go to the bathroom in my own house without an ID? I'm sorry, you need to get your ID. You can get it at the main office, or uh, temporary, or you get it from Mr. Shelley uh, after school or before school. In efforts to help slow down the coronavirus spread, businesses have begun to close until further notice or shorten their hours open. Places like gyms, movie theaters, barbershops, bars and restaurants, and retail stores have closed up shop due to the high numbers of people being around each other. For the shops that can, they will be able to still sell their items online and deliver them to your household. For example, restaurants will be open for delivery and pickup so you can still get your favorite meal. Places that have 
remained open include grocery and convenience stores, pharmacies, medical supply stores, mechanics, and other essential places that we need for our survival. These stores have limited their hours open and are not open any later than 9 p.m. With these rules set in place, we expect the number of cases to decrease and to return to our daily activities. We recommend that everyone takes part in practicing social distancing and stay, staying home as much as they can. The more that we abide by the rules, the sooner we will be able to go back to our daily routine. Thank you.